Hello, and welcome back to A Swift Look, a Taylor Swift show. I'm Zoe Jewell. Let's get into today's show. All right, guys. So it's been about a week since Taylor wrapped up tour in Singapore, and she has been off the grid, as she should. We know that when Taylor has finished her tour or a section of her tour or a run of shows, she goes into full-on hibernation mode. And why wouldn't she? Because I can't even imagine playing one show for over three hours, let alone multiple shows in a row. If I was her, I would lay in bed for like an entire week after I finished performing. And that seems to be exactly what she has been up to. So we do know that they, or sources have told us that they went to a few very private, very exclusive Oscar after parties last Sunday. No photographs have been seen of the two of them out together, which honestly I love because so much of their life has been in the public eye. Um, And I really like the fact that they've had, they've been able to have some date nights in public without the world seeing it, which I think is, think is cool. But now we're getting some more reporting that Taylor and Travis are in their quote, nesting mode. So there was a article that came out from Us Weekly, which, you know, can't always trust Us Weekly, but I feel like given what they shared with us, this seems pretty, this seems pretty likely. So basically the gist of the article is that Taylor and Travis are currently focused on their rest, their recuperation, their recharging their batteries. Again, as they should. It has not only been an extremely chaotic time for Taylor, but think about Travis's last like month and a half. He wins a Super Bowl. He then flies out to Australia for a couple of days. Then he goes back to Vegas to party with his team. Then he's in Los Angeles and he's in Cincinnati. And then he's in Philadelphia with his (laughs) watching Jason's retirement speech. He's back in, in Cleveland Um, to celebrate said retirement. Then he flies to Singapore. I mean, this guy's been going nonstop, which there's so many fun things to do. Of course, he's going to do them all, but I can only imagine how tired and exhausted they both are. But here's what the article said about what they're doing right now in terms of relaxing. Quote, they're focused on rest and recuperation and relaxing at home and having low key and chill time together. They are enjoying movie nights in her home theater, catching up on films and shows they've missed. Toward the end of the month, they're still talking about going on a private vacation where no one can find them before her new album drops. Okay, this is kind of exactly what I predicted um, in a previous episode, which is I feel like they haven't gotten to do like a fun trip, just the two of them to someplace private, quiet, where they can just genuinely detach, relax. I'm thinking like some sort of beach vacation. Um, honestly, with Taylor Swift, she could go anywhere and like she could rent out an entire island if she wanted to. Um, but I love this for them. Also, I was thinking like they probably haven't gotten to do a lot of the stuff that normal couples do, which is like watch movies together, watch TV shows together, um, just like exist as two people who aren't constantly having to travel from one end of the country to the other or around the world. So I love that they're relaxing. I love that they're chilling. I um, And I'm also going to be curious to see over the next you know month and a half or so where they spend their time. Um, does Taylor go back to New York City? Does Travis go with her? Will they spend time in Nashville, Kansas City? Um, I'll be curious to see how that kind of unfolds over the next six weeks, though we do know Taylor has an album to promote, so I'm sure she's going to be busy doing all that stuff too. Um, speaking of Travis Kelsey, he has been spotted though out and about because this man doesn't understand the word rest. He clearly, I don't think, I, I feel like he's the type of guy who needs like one day on the couch and then he's good to like go for the next I don't know, six or seven days. Um, This man just loves to be around people and have fun, which I love about him. But he was spotted at Justin Timberlake's surprise. I'm not even sure if it was a surprise, but I feel like it was a surprise concert um, in Los Angeles, where is actually the concert where JT brought out NSYNC. For those who maybe saw that on social media, obviously a huge deal. Justin had an album that is coming out or that has come out, I think at this point, I can't be exactly sure. Um, so made sense why he wanted to promote that and uh, get people talking. But Travis was there. And you might be asking yourself, wait, why is Travis Kelsey at a Justin Timberlake concert without Taylor Swift? Well, Travis and Justin are friends. They've actually played in a number of golf tournaments together over the years. In fact, there's been some times where Travis and Patrick Mahomes play in like a charity golf tournament against Justin Timberlake and one of his best friends, 
Jimmy Fallon. So there is that friendship there between Justin and Travis. Um, we also know Taylor loves Justin Timberlake and loves NSYNC, but I can understand her not going to this concert. One, because I'm sure again, she's like recharging her batteries after performing so many shows, but also anytime she goes anywhere, it just creates mass hysteria it was also a really small venue. I'm not exactly sure where the venue was, but I wondered too if they don't have the like the infrastructure in place or the security in place to like accommodate someone like Taylor Swift. Um, so it probably would have just been too much hassle, too much chaos and mayhem if she went. Um, so we still have we're, we're still waiting for our first public sighting of Taylor and Travis out in Los Angeles together. Maybe we'll get it. Maybe we won't get it. But nonetheless, I'm looking forward to what they have in store for us over the next few weeks. Um, and I think like most Swifties out there, I am like counting down the days to the Torture Poets Department's release because I need it so badly. And I just, I can't, I still can't believe we are getting a new album. Like we are so incredibly blessed. Um, so yeah, that's it for today's show. That's it for today's news. If you like this channel, if you love Taylor Swift, please make sure to subscribe, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.